we're back fellow lords of gaming so let's get into this really quickly and let's talk about dark zone so i finally made it in this motherfucker is the first thing and that's good but <clears throat> there was a patch today to address the pvp issues doesn't seem like there was any patch that was done to necessarily address the xp although i will have to say that the xp looks like that it has definitely seen some kind of improvement you can see that i'm literally sitting at about 68 percent with probably about seven minutes left of time inside here so i've roughly been inside dark zone for probably about 55 minutes or something like that um and i've basically gained probably about 51 percent experience overall here goes the thing though <clears throat> You know, this is like more like a net marble development team kind of thing where we're now allowed to jump in here, get XP and grind XP to in order to, you know, level up to hit that 105 and 110 cap. But the problem is, is now you've nullified the point of the dark zone because everybody's in here basically grinding mobs instead of actually grinding the uh, the most wanted targets, which, you know, kind of defeats the purpose it gives more credence to the point that you know what maybe the best solution for this would be instead of having the dark zone be the only exclusive place where you can get experience for killing mobs just make the mobs in general carry experience like that would probably be the best idea create a pvp server there was an instance inside here that reminded me because it's been a little while since i've actually you know jumped into the grinding mode of playing a mmo even though I do play Black Desert and Destiny, and it was the competing for resource thing. Like, so this is a non-PVP related server, but I'm sitting inside here and someone from Hoda was inside here. I can't remember what his name was, Logan, I believe it was, or something like that, jumped into the area, right? And he's now grinding in the same spot that I'm playing in. So this creates a, 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 a moment inside a non-pvp server where i want to just smack the shit out of dude and kill him because that's going to allow me to grind back inside the territory unabated without having to worry about anybody right but i can't do that in a pvp in a non-pvp server so there's going to be instances inside this where you you're going to build up people's ramp up people's desire to do pvp because they're going to run into those events and so it's going to be more beneficial in my opinion if they just remove dark zone i feel like this mode has become invalidated in the method that they did it just remove dark zone create the mob xp experience inside the open world and create a pvp server or two so that way players can legitimately just go to pick and pick and choose whether they're going to go to the pvp and pve area you could still create battles across the land space if you wanted to so that way when loki pops up on the screen have dark dark zone points drop for those so that way now I'm going in there and I want to battle with my alliance over those and I want to get the ma the most amount of points. You can do that in a PvP server. You can scale back the points inside a PvE server so that way it kind of makes sense on a whole. I just don't think that the idea, I can't believe that the developer's idea of this would have been, hey, let's jump inside PvP or, you know, in Dark Zone and invalidate that we've got these most wanted targets going around because everybody's ignoring them in order to get this. So I, now I don't I don't know if this is going to be level specific, but I do want to point out and I want to thank um, Tony Bean Gaming because he was the first person I saw that actually made the point and clarification. So that way I didn't waste time inside here. Basically, when I went to go kill one of the most wanted targets, I got maybe about uh a percent and a quarter of experience for killing that one most wanted target which obviously clearly is not a lot now that wasn't a prime target so i don't know how much i would get from a prime but it definitely seems as if though you know in terms of time to kill that you would want to be hunting mobs more than you would want to be hunting um most wanted targets or prime targets inside your hour since you are limited in that fact um so at the rate that i'm going right now i would imagine it's probably going to take me maybe another two days in order to be able to access the blitz missions since i kind of completely missed out uh yesterday so in that regard i don't think i can complain too much because this this doesn't put it make it so outside the reach of being able to attain you know if it had gone down well and they communicated this properly to us then i think there would have been a less um <clears throat> less of a backlash because there was definitely a large percentage of the 
uh, content creators and non-content creators who were really pissed off about that patch update, especially considering that they were saying that they took eight and a half hours to do it so that way they could get it just right and they still fucked it up beyond belief. Now, outside of doing this uh, dark zone uh, grind for experience, I have a feeling that you can also get experience from the Dormammu um, uh, most wanted event mission that's going on inside the open world. I got to go test it, but I'm pretty positive that I did that event earlier and I got some experience out of it. Maybe like 2% or something like that from killing both all three targets inside uh, the Midgardia area. Um, but I got to go test that out and see what's going on. So just so you guys know, my time to kill has been pretty good inside here. Like, I, I mean, I'm clearing mobs pretty efficiently, as you can see. Uh, just so that there's no, you know, whatever. You can see exactly where my power level is sitting, my, my battle badges and my costumes here. Um, I'm sitting pretty, pretty, you know, nice in terms of my character's power levels and so forth so i don't know let me let me know in the comment section guys like it, are you having a hard time at your power levels like i know most players are probably around the 500 thousand 400 400 500 thousand mark so i'd be interested to know exactly you know how difficult or easy you were finding grinding the mobs in here because i knew that even when i was at like 400,000 power grinding some of these mobs inside here was still you know a little bit of a challenge so let me know uh what you guys think about that i'm enjoying making this content for you guys i see a lot of you guys are viewing the content please like and subscribe it helps out the channel 100 helps out with that youtube algorithm and helps me getting content and stay enthusiastic making those so until next time guys hopefully tomorrow i'll be at uh one 104 and the day after i'll be at 1 105 we'll see though until next time guys peace